In this video, we will discuss what matrices are. We will discuss the definition of matrices, the order of matrices, and the two types of matrices, which are the square and rectangular matrices. First, let's discuss the definition of matrices. Matrices are rectangular array of numbers that are enclosed by a pair of brackets. Now, let's discuss some examples. Let's take an example of one element, which is 2 here, and it is enclosed by a pair of brackets. So we will say that this is a matrix. In this next example, we have two entries or elements, you can call it whichever you like. And it is a matrix as well, as it fulfills both requirements. In the same way we have this next example, we will call this a matrix as well as it is fulfilling both requirements. It is a rectangular array of numbers and it is enclosed by a pair of brackets. Now in this next example, in which we have all elements present except for one. Since an element is missing, this will no longer be a rectangular array of numbers as you can see. It is enclosed by a pair of brackets but it is not fulfilling one of the requirements hence it is not a matrix in this next example we will see what rows and columns are in a matrix these horizontal lines are denoted by m and these are called rows over here we have three rows in the same way, these vertical lines are denoted by N, and these are called columns. In this example, we have three columns. Hopefully by now, you will have some clarity of what rows and columns are. Now let's see what the order of matrix is and how to find it. The number of rows and the number of columns in a matrix is the order of a matrix. M by N is a way to write the order of a matrix. Let's explain this with an example. In this example, we will first see how many rows are in this matrix. As you can see, we have three rows here. And then we will see how many columns we have. And in this case, that is also three. So we will say that the order of this matrix is 3 by 3. Uh, 3 by 3. Now we will discuss the types of matrices. Now there are many types of matrices, but over here we will only discuss rectangular and square matrices. Now always remember that rectangular and square matrices are opposites of each other. Like let's take a look at the rectangular matrix in the rectangular matrix the number of rows and the number of columns are not equal in other words m is not equal to n let's take a look at an example over here we have two entries enclosed by a pair of brackets we will see how many rows and columns we have there is only one horizontal line so we only have one row and there are two vertical lines, so we have two columns. Since one is not equal to two, M is not equal to N. So we will say that this is a rectangular matrix. In this next example, we have three rows and one column. Three is not equal to one. So this is a rectangular matrix as well. Now let's look at the square matrix. In a square matrix, the number of rows and columns are equal, which is why it is the opposite of a rectangular matrix, as mentioned earlier. An example of this is a single element, as it has one row and one column. One is equal to one, 
hence it fulfills the condition of m is equal to n so we will call this a square matrix in this next example we have three rows and three columns three is equal to three so we will call this a square matrix hopefully this lecture helped